Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mike, and thanks for jumping on here with me this morning. What's the most valuable resource you have? Your most precious commodity? Is it the cash in your bank account? Is it the gold and silver bars you own? Is it the house you live in, the car you drive? Uh, what is your most valuable, precious commodity? Well, I'm going to contend and I'm each morning this week, I'm going to make my point on this, that your time, your time is your most precious commodity. Because it's really the only thing that you have to offer anybody is you. Yeah, look, come on. Anybody can show homes. Anybody can unlock door and show homes to people. There's nothing you can do on a listing that everybody else, every other agent in Atlanta can't do as well. There's really nothing very unique or different about that. The only thing that's unique and different is you. Your time is all you have to offer to people, and that's what they're paying for. Many of you, well, let's just say all of us, have very complex lives with many moving parts, right? We're a wife, a husband, a father, a daughter, a sister, a brother, a friend, a son, a daughter, a leader, a chauffeur, a cook, a dishwasher, a house cleaner, maybe a babysitter, and a realtor. Hmm. There's really only one way to get it all done. There's really only one way to get it all done every day because that's a lot of stuff that you are playing a role in, right? The only way to get it all done is by managing your time as closely as possible every day. If you don't, well, you'll become a victim of good intentions. I mean, you meant to. Right now, what is it, 8.32, 8.33? You have a lot of good intentions for today, don't you? You have a lot of things that you intend on getting done. Mm -hmm. You meant to, it just never happened. And almost all of you are going to put your real estate business behind all of those personal roles that you play in your life. I mean, I know all of you fairly well. I don't think I know anybody who's going to put your real estate business ahead of your kids or your spouse, or your father or mother, or maybe even your friends. And for some of you, you won't even put it ahead of your personal hobbies. Mm -hmm. and, and you shouldn't. Well, I don't know about the hobbies part. <laughs> but, like, your real estate business isn't more important than your children, is it? So your real estate business is going to come last on the priority list. You had a good intentions today, but all these other roles that you play in your life just got in the way. So your business suffers and you don't make the income you desire. Sound about right? I know. I know. Uh, me too. So I learned the hard way that my written schedule is my best friend. And today I actually think of it as my best friend. It's what's going to enable me and you to live as close to the life that we desire and maybe have promise to our families as possible. So this week I want to really drill in to my best friend. This written weekly schedule. My plan for the week. How I'm going to manage my time as effectively as possible so I can live the life that I say I want and I can honor my responsibilities to the people I say I care about. So each morning I want to give you some tips on this and I want to encourage you this as we get started. Be willing to try it. Don't dismiss it out of hand. Well, I don't like doing that. Honey, nobody cares what you like. You've made some promises and representations to the people in your life that you care about. How about we start honoring them? Hmm? Well, we can do that by watching our time every day because we all 
have many different responsibilities which create conflicts in almost every day. So today I want to get started with you by offering you my first three tips for creating an effective weekly schedule. Number one, account for all waking hours. Now look, you don't need to put the time that you're asleep in your uh, weekly schedule. You might put your bedtime and your get up in the morning time. I'm okay with that, but we don't need like two o'clock in the morning sleep. I <laughs> know, right? Okay. Account for all your waking hours. What time do you get up in the morning? What time do your feet come off the floor at night? Well, you know about, there you know about. Do your children have a bedtime? It's good enough for them. Why not you? And what happens if they don't go to bed when they're supposed to? Is the next day a little challenging for mom and daddy? Right. Why is it not the same for you? What time do you get up in the morning? What time do your feet come off the floor in the evening? Start with that and account for all waking hours. My second tip for today is go ahead, put your personal life in first. We might have to come back and make some changes and some adjustments, but go ahead when you start preparing that weekly schedule, and you should, like now, put your life, personal life in there first. What personal obligations and requirements do you have this week? Go ahead and plug them in. Let's see if they create conflict. And my third tip for this morning is, <laughs> For those of you that are watching this on video, I'm holding up my most valuable possession, which is my erasable ink pen. You could use pencil, but it needs to be erasable. Why? Because, folks, I've been doing this for over 25 years, and I've never had the perfect week. I've never even had a perfect day. When things didn't come up, things didn't have to get changed around, of course they do. That's life. But I just make the changes in my schedule. So pencil or erasable pen, I love these. This is, what is this? This is uh, called, uh, I don't know what it's called. It doesn't matter. You can get these at any office supply location. Erasable ink pens, I love them because nothing works like it's supposed to work. Those are my three tips for today. I hope you'll jump in here with me tomorrow as we start getting deeper and deeper into strategies for an effective schedule each week. And this schedule, this is, gonna, is what's gonna allow you to play all those roles in your personal life and still have a productive business. I promise you, it's what helped me. It'll do the same for you. And it'll be the first step down the road of getting out there and making it happen for ourselves today.